See, the truth is that we're frequency, and we go through life tuning ourselves to different frequencies. And just like the radio, when you tune yourself to a certain frequency, you get what that frequency has to offer you. Welcome to the frequency that's all about turning you into a greater version of you. Welcome to the podcast that's offering you greater. You are now tuned in to the Greater Resistance Podcast with me, the Manifest Mentor, Brian Hippolyte. Mic check, one, two, one, two, we in here, let's do it. The Greater Resistance Podcast, episode 17. Brian Hippolyte, the Manifest Mentor, six-time author and founder of Manifest University, Manifest Academy. Man, I help people all around the world tap into their divinity, break generational curses, and create generational wealth with personal development, self-mastery, goal execution, everything towards successful living. You hear me? And on this episode, we are going to highlight different things that we do that increases our chances of missing the mark. On this podcast in the past, we've talked about an addiction to powerlessness. Today, we're going to talk about an addiction to hopelessness. Matter of fact, addiction to powerlessness was the name of our very first episode. If you have not heard that Go ahead and get the gems that's available in that. But on episode 17, we are going to talk about this addiction to hopelessness, what it means, what it looks like, how it plays out in your life, because you've seen it all around you. And you've undoubtedly identified it in other places, but it's easy to not see it when it's operating in your life. It's easy to not see it and look past it when it's you and your habits and your mindset that is creating in facilitating this addiction to hopelessness. I get to be around a lot of successful people and there's a lot of habits that they commonly um, demonstrate. And then I also get to be around a lot of people who are looking to find that thing that will make them successful, that are looking for this opportunity to, to be greater than they are and they are currently struggling at a level. All of those people also have a particular mindset and habits and and things that they have in common as to the way that they maneuver through life. So my objective, the objective of this podcast episode is to get you out of your way by revealing to you different things that you may be doing to stop your success from becoming a greater version of you and accomplishing greater things in this dimension for your life and for your legacy. Welcome to the Greater Resistance Podcast. The Greater Resistance Podcast. Before we go any further, I got to give a big shout out to my hometown, Tampa, Florida. We got to show a whole lot of love to South Carolina, Charleston, South Carolina. We got to send a lot of thanks to Atlanta, Georgia. We got to show some love to the country, the whole country of Nambia in Africa. And we got to send some thanks and some praise and some flowers to Los Angeles, California. These are the top five areas that are watching, supporting, posting, sharing the Greater Resistance podcast. And it's growing every day, every week. But those are the five places that are showing the most love. And I just wanted to show y'all some love, Batman. Thank you. God bless you. And I pray peace and prosperity to you and yours. Let's keep spreading this elevation. If I got to tap in with my family, Manifest University, what's going on? You know, greater shall we be, greater shall we do, greater shall we have. That's my family, that's my tribe, and we link up on a daily basis and do life together. We elevate and indulge in all the things that lead to a never-ending cycle of joy and expansion in our lives. If you want to join us, you can go to doumu.com to be a part of my daily calls in my weekly classes grow with me and my powerful team of MU professors and our mighty community now available 
on Mighty Network so you could be with MU on the go getting daily notifications and inspiration and empowerment from me and the team all day, every day. Again, do you MU.com to join the tribe. And of course, if you want to tap in with the books that I'm talking from that inspired this whole motion, this whole movement, everything that's going on with me and Manifest University, Manifesting You, The Greater Existence, Teach Them Young, and my other books, courses, and classes of elevation are available at BrianHippolite.com. The, 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 the Greater Existence Podcast. It's only in the moments that we abandon that ability that we have and fall into hopelessness, fall into this addiction that we have for hopelessness, the addiction that we have for powerlessness. And because of that, because as a matter of fact, because of that addiction, you guys, you know, we were talking about recently, you were talking about self-sabotage. Um, it, because of that addiction, we lean in to self-sabotage. We fall into self-sabotage. Because of that addiction to hopelessness and the addiction to powerlessness. Um, and, and anything that takes you out of power. So, you know, victimhood's included in that, all, all, you know, all, all of that. Like anything that just takes you out of out of power. Um, because of having this addiction to rest <laughs> and be comfort, uh, be comforted. Uh, by being powerless, you will create realities and opportunities for you to be powerless so that you can then have your addiction. And you could then have the vice of your addiction. And that it all makes, make, makes what looks like sense to you as life happenings or what you'll call as life life in. But a lot of it is actually user error or what you intended to do subconsciously because of what you believe you know your subconscious is going to just move it doesn't apply all this logic it's taking what you believe and what's been put into it and then doing what it knows to do to create the realities to support it So if you've been telling yourself that there's or if there's all this judgment in your heart and you've been telling yourself that somebody else is responsible for you having what it is that you need in your life and what you're supposed to have. Um, and it's their reason is it's because of what they're not doing that you don't have this thing or, you know, like any any idea, any creation that you could possibly have where you are putting applying judgment and blame on uh resentment anger and all these things unforgiveness and all these things towards other people places and things instead of owning your responsibility in it and moving forward in a uh in a in a powerful and intentful manner all that stuff is rooted in your in your your fear your is a desire for safety and comfort and those are things you can't enjoy, indulge in. Those are things you can't find enjoyment in. Because and those are things that will keep you in a limited belief, a limited life. Because you will release your power at the same time. You know, when you understand that you are limitless possibilities, when you identify yourself as limitless possibility, everything that comes your way, you'll see the limitless possibility in it because you see life through how you see yourself. You hear me? You see life through how you see yourself. So when you see yourself as limitless possibility, when life throws things at you, you'll see the limitless possibility in those things. That's why changing the way that you see yourself is so important and so imperative. Proper self-identification is so imperative. Because if you change the way that you see yourself, you'll change what you see throughout life, throughout your existence. Because your existence is much greater than what your five senses are experiencing. If you walked across the room, there would be 
so many smells, so many um, different things taking place that you're not even conscious of, that your body is registering. So many different things taking place that your existence is aware of that you're not even aware of because we use 1% of our consciousness that most, most people. That's a wonderful example of how unaware we are of how this thing really works and what's really going on. We just go through life dealing with what life brought our way. And today's a great day, y'all, to decide to move a little bit different and go through life fulfilling your objective and your agenda and taking everything that life brings your way as something that is going to allow you to further your objective and your agendas. The, 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 the Greater Resistance Podcast. Something that's vitally important is that you have joy. Let's have joy. Let's make joy front and center in your life. This is not something that takes time. This is not something that takes certain conditions. It takes a choice and it takes a commitment. And I get I get now what I respectfully I'ma say what the old folks would say when the when they would say, you know, despite what's going on, I could just hear my grandma and, and, and her friends saying, you know, dis, despite it all, I got joy. And it was something that they that they had and that they held on to regardless of what they was going on. And they was, you know, they 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 sometimes they said it was the joy of the Lord that was the, that was their strength. And they were saying that there's regardless of this situation, there's a joy inside me. I have joy inside me. And um I'm not gonna tell you what to call or what or how to identify whatever that greater energy is within you that gives that gives you peace that surpasses understanding and that gives you joy beyond anything that you may be experiencing that you don't want to experience you know but it's within you someone taught us to call it by all these call that that energy by so many other names we just gonna start by i'm we just is you just you we gonna call your name is you you call your name is the guy within within you if that energy gives you another name and say hey i'm abraham call me abraham then call him abraham you know but for right now let's just let's just keep it simple let's just keep it what let's identify and and true and you're talking to you because you are your connection to that God within you which is you know connected to whatever big great creative energy and life force and source energy that is around here up there down there everywhere and that 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 version of you that multi-dimensional existence of you has no shortage of, of of joy it's not does it need things to happen in this human form for it to have this thing called joy and that joy is inside of you and we were given the notion that we're supposed to go through life looking for joy in other things and doing the things that make us happy. And let's just be a little bit more impeccable. Joy is within you. You don't need anything to give you joy. Joy is your natural resource. Joy comes out of you the same with the way that water comes out of a spring. is everlasting and we were taught that we are supposed to do the things that make us happy and the truth is in a more impeccable way that you need to understand and and and, and move with is that you should do the things 
that increase your happiness. Welcome to the frequency that's all about turning you into a greater version of you. You are now tuned in to the Greater Resistance Podcast with me, the Manifest Mentor. Parents, let me get your attention real quick. Every Tuesday and Thursday night is going up at Parenting with Purpose. This is a part of Manifest University, but you do not have to be a part of Manifest University to be a part of Parenting with Purpose. Again, every Tuesday and Thursday night, we are having high level, high vibration conversations on ways that you can be more effective in your parenting. Create the environments for your child's development as well as for your development. Parenting with Purpose is just not about for your child. It's about you growing as well. Oftentimes, there are people who are parenting from their inner child, parenting from their childhood trauma, and we have to deal with those things. We need to identify those things, and we also need to identify what it is that we want for our children and begin to move in alignment with what the desired result is. And it's all good because it's all just a reprogramming that often needs to happen and parenting with purpose is a place where that reprogramming happens and we have amazing results amazing testimonies so if that is something that you want to get into again go to doumu.com and sign up for parenting with purpose and be in our classes every tuesday and thursday night you are now tuned in to the greater resistance podcast Don't be out here waiting on things to make you happy because you're living wrong. And and that's why you become dependent on things for you to be happy because you haven't instilled happiness within yourself, from yourself. Haven't tapped into it. You don't believe it's there. That shit's there. It's on tap. Joy is internal. And all you do in this dimension, you should do it with joy. All that you do in this dimension, you ought to be doing it with joy. Everything, all that you do. I'm talking about your work. I'm talking about your parenting. I'm talking about your, you know, the, re- the the communications that you have, the relationships, the res- handling your responsibilities, like everything, you should you should be doing it with joy. And if you can't do it with joy, then don't do it. Some would take that as a means of getting out of things that they need to do, but what that statement is 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 really saying is that you have if if you can't do it with joy if it's impossible for you to do it with joy not if you won't but if it's impossible for you to do it with joy it's not something you're meant to do and that's a clear cut indication that it's not something that you are meant to do if you can't do it with joy but many of the things that we are most commonly dealing with we can do with joy we just choose not to all the time I hear parents talking about how painful parenting is and how hard it is and oh I gotta do this with this kid and like y'all sound like this shit is so painful and and every day is another struggle and when we try parenting with joy why don't we try parenting with joy and moving from places of joy, not places of anger or resentment or, um, cause you know, sometimes we be moving with resentment with our child cause you res- resent your responsibilities or the bad choices that you might, that got you in the, si- the position that you're in. And sometimes you might look at your child and that's the representation of some bad choices to you at that moment. Not that the child is, but when you look at, you know what I'm saying, right? 
all of our children are, bl are, are blessings. And then we move with resentment. I've seen it happen. I was watching it happening when I was a kid. I see it happening around me now. So I know it's real. If you don't do it, great for you. I know there's some people, there are some people out there who, who move in such a way. Some of you grew up um, with a parent who moved in such a way, who held you responsible and treated you like you were responsible for some choices that they made that they were unpleased with. The, 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 the Greater Resistance Podcast. It's parent with joy. You don't need to be parenting with substance. And I mean a substance that you are giving yourself. You need to be parenting with substance from yourself that you are outpouring into your, into, into, into your children. But not parenting that you need a substance in order for you to do it. There's no substance that you would need to parent if you were parenting with joy. There's, there's, there, there, would, there will be no need. You know, um, be, and, 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 and it's really a lie that we tell ourselves when we say I'm smoking or I'm drinking to um, deal with, you know, parenting when we use that excuse because it's the same thing when someone uses it for their for you know to escape from work or escape from a bad marriage or a bad relationship or escape like we use these different things and we say that's what we're doing such and such to escape from but that's really not true we're, we're not doing it to escape our children or our responsibilities or you know or or any of these things that have gone wrong in our life we're doing it to attempt to escape ourselves <laughs> Call it, call it what it is. You're attempting to escape yourself. And that is why until you deal with you, you will continue to create the realities that you don't desire just so you can feed your addiction to helplessness and powerlessness and victimhood. You'll create situations where you can be the victim of it and say they did you wrong. You let them. Sometimes you gave them the keys. Sometimes you really gave them the keys to do it. You'll give someone the keys to do you wrong, keys to drive you in the wrong direction, or you know the key that you'll give someone the keys to your car and they'll do something bad and you will be like, man, they stole my car. You gave them the keys, man. <laughs> stop, stop changing the story to be to 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 be the victim of it. You're not a victim. You're a volunteer. And this will happen over and over again until you deal with you. Again, we don't smoke or drink all the time to escape our worries, our responsibilities, our families, our, our life. We do it so we can attempt to escape ourselves. And we would only do that if we, if there is a severe lack of joy. Because listen, who's trying to escape joy? Who's trying to escape joy? So where's your joy? All that you do, you should do with joy. Your work, now someone gonna say, well, I have to do this job. No, that's the job that you chose to. There's plenty of other opportunities out there. Yeah, well, they slim. Okay, well, you responded with limitation. You lose, you're right, stay there. You lose every time. Every time you respond to the limit, you respond to the universe with limitation. Cause they'll cut a conversation short with me. You know. I'll try again another time. But so I can only imagine how this great big universal force feels. Cause it gotta be great, you know. Times a trillion, you know how I feel about it. 
All this abundance I offer you, you respond to me with limitation. Okay, well, see you where that limitation feels like. We'll try this again later. <laughs> All that you do, do with joy. So even if you can't have the job that you want, you could do the job that you have to do with joy. Even if you can't serve and work for the person that you want, you can serve and work for the person that you're with, with joy. Right? Or you can be inspired to create the, you know, if we're, if we, if we're talking about a job, you can be inspired to create the conditions where you could be your own boss. But some of y'all would still not like y'all boss if you was your own boss right now. Then you gonna be like, damn this. Boss ain't got no joy, man. Boss ain't trying to have no fun. Boss won't. Boss man won't have no Christmas party, won't let us dress down on Friday. God damn, boss man. You know what they been like, boss man needs some fun. You know what I'm talking about? Boss, loosen up, boss man. You work for yourself right now. You wouldn't like your boss, man. You gotta get that joy up. And I and I'm and I want to take it back to parenting, cause that is a cosmic connection and one of the in one of the most divine reasons for our existence and the order that is in. Or however, this shit play out, like bringing this other life form into this d dimension is the most divine thing you will do. So, then the process of raising should be just as divine. I want I want to be I'll be more impeccable and not say should be because that's a judgment I'll say could be has all possibilities to be but where some see possibilities others see problems where you see problems I see possibilities where you see limitations I see limitless potential Where you say we can't do that, I'd be like, I'm already on it. <laughs> so what's up with that joy? Can you do, can you parent with joy? I think that's a great indication of where you how you feel internally I think I, I really feel the way and this is just my my uh, my opinion so you are free to do with it what you like that's the greatest thing but greatest 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 thing about us is the ability to create and cultivate this life and all the culmination of everything that we've ever been and everything that we've ever done has been so that we can pass it down in its greatest form to this life that we have the ability to foster. The honor. Don't tell me that you believe these children are a gift from God and the greatest and and and, and all and all that. But on a day to day, oh, you treat it like it's a prison sentence. That 
math ain't math. Where's the joy? And that doesn't mean, again, that doesn't mean that it's not going to be some challenges. But so what? These are the challenges at this level of life. Are you going to continue to create a resistance to them? And recycle them day after day, time after time, week after week, season after season? Or are you going to do it with joy? Are you going to get good at it? When do you plan on getting good at it? I guarantee you're going to, it'll be easier to get good at it. It'll be easier to have joy and do it with joy and get good at it than it'll be is then it's going to be to get good at it and and then hope you find joy because you got good at it no that joy within you doing you 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 doing it backwards and while we on the subject it's not your how you say it we have this idea that the other parent that it's that it's okay that it's okay to say I don't have such and such and my child don't got such and such because this person ain't do it or this person ain't give it like you don't feel the powerlessness in that And oftentimes when we feel like that internally, we'll go through our parenting with a level of resentment and resistance to labor that you feel you shouldn't have to do because you deem it someone else's responsibility. This only makes it difficult for you and the true victim of it is your child. It doesn't affect anything else. It lowers your vibration and it makes what you're going through difficult for you. And the one that suffers the most is your child. We have to begin to look at parenting. And I didn't even mean it, turning all this into parenting, but I guess I got a bunch of parenting things on my heart. Um, We have to begin to look at this thing as how what we're doing directly affects the child and not how what we're doing directly affects our vision of what shit's supposed to be. You know what I mean? Like, we want to be comfortable with in certain realities. And so oftentimes we move and make judgments off of what is creating this certain reality or what is not creating a certain reality, what's holding up to my expectation, different things like that. And we, so we move based off of what it will allow those things to be accomplished. Not off of what's the best effect for the child, what creates the best environment for the development of the child's joy. You've had all these years to figure out your joy. I'm I'm glad, I'm I'm praying that you get in it today. The the, the, the Greater Resistance Podcast. And as you are responsible for cultivating yours, you're definitely responsible for cultivating an environment for them to have theirs. So find joy in cultivating that environment that will cultivate joy and development for your child. If you can find joy in that and base everything around that, you'll make decisions that based off of what upholds that. Welcome to the frequency that's all about turning you into a greater version of you. You are now tuned in to the Greater Resistance Podcast with me, the Manifest Mentor. When you join Parenting with Purpose or when you buy my daughter's First book, Samara Loves Her Locks, you get 30 days free. Add 
Manifest Academy, which is our all new community, interactive online learning from pre-K through fifth grade. There is over 100 hours of video for learning for childhood development, for everything that makes them a great being. There's tons of content for my children and, um, and some other amazing young men and women, young kings and queens that are sharing their light, their love, and their information with the rest of our community. So go to MA Learn and Play to join Manifest Academy today. 30, the first 30 days are free. We even have some live sessions so that the children can get together in a, a safe uh, environment and do some interactive learning and gameplay activities together. So again, sign up your child at malearnandplay.com for Manifest Academy. You are now tuned in to the Greater Resistance Podcast. If you won't wake up every day and look at parenting as if there's some invisible slave master and taskmaster that is whipping you throughout your day to do all the things that are necessary to be done at this level and at this stage of life. Not only are you going to be uh, miserable, but you will spread misery. You'll walk into a room and it'll have a miserable vibration. We can hear it in your first few words. In your introduction introduction or question or objection or whatever, maybe we can hear it in the first in the first few words, the hopelessness, the the powerlessness, the limitation in the energy, in the vibration. It's going to be up to you to find your spring. You have a spring of joy that is overflowing. And all you gotta do is go stand by that shit. All you gotta do is stop judging so many things. All you gotta do is stop holding on to so many things. If you can't experience joy, if you aren't experienced joy, friend, I'd be willing to bet there's some things from the past that you are holding on to. And it's not that you don't feel good, it's that those things from the past don't feel good. And why should they? They're dead. Dead weight. How old were you when you heard the term dead weight? When was the first time somebody's head fell asleep on your arm and you understood what dead weight feel like? Now you carrying around dead expectations, dead relationships, dead disappointments, dead resistance, dead resentments. Shit got to be heavy. The, 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 the Greater Resistance Podcast. Shit got to be heavy. I invite you to lay down your burdens and put down your load. Set your baggage aside. Stand upright. Roll your shoulders and loosen your neck and stand up straight. With your chin up higher and, and, and your shoulders strong. <laughs> Knowing that not only are those things that you sat down not for you, but they were never yours to begin with. And you move forward only with the things that bring you joy. It's time to start doing some day-to-day accounting. It's time to start doing what I call an internal audit. There's plenty of ways to, plenty ways to do it, but I'm gonna just give you one question to ask yourself every day and start to gauge where you're at. Am I happier today than I was yesterday? Is there more joy in my life today than there was yesterday? 
Am I a greater expression of joy today than I was yesterday? That's where I'm at. That's what I'm on. Am I a greater expression of joy? But I don't want you to start there because I don't want you just to be exp uh, ex show showing something. I want it to be the overflow. See, I had a I, I, I had an overflow of joy in my heart and, and then came to the understanding that I really wasn't expressing it, uh, I, you know, in my, in, my, in my face too much. And I became intentional to be a greater expression of it, of the joy that I feel. So am I happier than today than I am yesterday? The, 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 the Greater Resistance Podcast. Is there more joy in my life today than there was yesterday? And do more of what makes you happy. Do more of what adds joy to you. But stop doing things looking for joy and looking for happiness. It's a great day to be greater than you ever been. And it's a great day to have a higher level of joy than ever before and to give off a greater level of joy than, than ever before. If you can't do it joyfully, don't do it. If you can't enjoy it, don't do it. If you're going to spread misery in the world, don't do it. But if you will spread joy, do it as much as you can. For this is the vibration of beautiful creation. That you were sent to this dimension to, to give off. So with all love and light, I, I pray you a greater existence than ever before. And with all my energy, I send you a, a higher vibration than ever before. And it's up to you to align with it, to accept it, to yield to it. You know, the truth is not something you have to accept. It's, some people say that, that, you know, that's hard to accept. The truth is not hard to accept. It, or, it's, or it's not something that you need to accept. It's just something that you yield to. So just yield to it. It's going to set you free. The truth has set you free. And guess what? You the truth. It's a great day to stop identifying as the lies. The, 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 the Greater Resistance Podcast. Real quick, while I got this chance, I want to tell you about the Greater Existence course. It just keeps getting better and better. Listen, the Greater Existence course gives you four months of live classes, live session, live group coaching, and mentorship from me at Manifest University. In, in addition, to giving you that access for four months, you're also going to get all of my books. So you're going to get Manifesting You, Teach Them Young, The Greater Existence. You're even gonna get my children's book for your young ones, Samara Loves Her Locks. So you're going to get the physical, and then you're also going to get virtual learning material. You're going to get my 36 class Manifesting You course, complete with a purpose finding assessment and a self identification assessment, okay? So you get virtual learning material, physical learning material and live coaching and live classes and right now it's $99 at brianhippolite.com it's only $99 for the next 99 people so make your way to brianhippolite.com and join the greater existence course take your life to the next level i'll see you at manifest university do you am you do you am you? Just answer that question real quick. Like, do you manifest you? 
Do you place yourself in the environments that allow you to be greater than you ever been and manifest the things within you that you desire so you can manifest the things on the outside that you desire? Do you do that? If you don't, or you can use some assistance, or that's never even been something that you've been conscious of before, I invite you to join Manifest University. This is my daily community, so you get my daily impact, my daily empowerment, my daily inspiration and wisdom. Not only just mine, but from those that I learn from, as well as those who learn with me at Manifest University. So it's plenty of content, plenty of connections, plenty of community, because Greater shall you be, greater shall you do, and greater shall you have, and everything's easier with the right tools. So every day we put the right tools in your hands so that you can create the life and legacy that you desire. I want you to meet me at doumu.com so you can join Manifest University. There's plenty of levels available to you. It's actually free to be in the community, but classes start at just a dollar a day. So again, I'll see you at doumu.com. And of course, the books, the courses, the classes, the material, the coaching is all available at BrianHippolyte.com. You know, I'm a six-time author, so we got Manifesting You 111 Keys to Unlocking Your Divinity. Teach Them Young 111 Keys to Building Phenomenal Beings. The Greater Existence 111 Keys to Walking in Your Infinity. There's courses, there's classes, there's coaching. Everything's available at BrianHippolyte.com. So if you want to expand... I'll see you there. I think my last announcement is thank you to everyone that has been streaming my latest musical offering, Love Letters, the EP that's available streaming on all music platforms. Thank you for supporting the music, for sharing the music, and all that great stuff, man. Look, just don't, don't just be good soil and just soak it up. Bear good fruit as well you know what i'm saying get active get productive a rising tide raises all boats so don't just keep this elevation for yourself expose somebody else to it strengthen yourself by strengthening your community lead yourself and lead your family if you're the only one around you that's on this type of time then it's you who is the leader of the pack it is you who is going to influence others to move in alignment with you it's you that might save the family tree and if that's what it's looking like then accept what it is and get to it Ain't nobody coming to save you but you. And guess what? You all that you need. You all that you got. And you all that you need. And the more that you see that, the more that you believe that, the more that you're going to be that. Listen, it's always a pleasure to have this opportunity to elevate you with you. And and honestly, there was so much of this subject to to get to. So we're definitely going to unpack and expand and expound on the principles that we dropped on today in a future podcast episode so make sure that you have subscribed to the greater resistance podcast so you could get those notifications and also make sure that you are sharing it i know why you was listening today you was thinking of somebody else who needs this who could benefit from this who's who 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 may even not be open to it but you know they need this in their life so listen i just want to tell you don't pass judgment whether you think someone's gonna receive it well or receive it at all or completely reject it send it to them give them that opportunity don't judge them and take that opportunity from a man people surprise us all the time that you would have thought hey man i didn't even think they would have responded that way but you never know so you know be the reason that everything around you grow add value to everything around you that's what i live my life by and there's it's been given such amazing results i'm not telling you what i heard i'm telling you what i know what i do know is it's time to get out of here so i'm going to leave you with affirmations that will carry you on through your week and of course they're available streaming absolutely everywhere but you heard it first right here on the greater resistance podcast it's brian hippolyte the manifest mentor i look forward to seeing you at manifest university if when you pull up the manifest university and you got here you got there from the greater resistance podcast be sure to send me a message and let me know yo i peeped you on the greater resistance podcast and i'm here at manifest university what up
And I'ma say what up back, and we gon' holler, we gon' politic, we gon' build, man. Greater shall you be, greater shall you do, greater shall you have. Let's go. Welcome to the frequency that's all about turning you into a greater version of you. You are now tuned in to the Greater Resistance Podcast with me, the Manifest Mentor. I'm forever grateful. I am forever thankful As I walk through life May my stride be graceful As I see the blessings Hidden in every message As I live and I learn Grateful for every lesson I am peace, I am love I am joy, I am light Each day I give Gratitude for my life I am forever grateful I am forever thankful As I walk through life May my stride be graceful I trust that I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be And receiving what I'm supposed to be getting at this moment When I am in a state of appreciation I align with my higher self I attract positive things to me Gratitude is a superpower. Gratitude clears the path for my manifestation. So every day I show appreciation. Gratitude for what I have. And gratitude for what is to come. I'm forever grateful. I'm forever thankful. As I walk through life. May my stride be graceful As I see the blessings Hidden in every message As I live and I learn Grateful for every lesson I am peace, I am love I am joy, I am light Each day I give Gratitude for my life I am forever grateful I am forever thankful As I walk through life May my stride be graceful I am grateful for what I have And I am excited for what is to come. I am grateful for the new day. I am excited for the rising sun. I'm thankful for the light of this day. For renewed energy and renewed strength. I am eternally grateful for the love I am capable of giving. And for the love that I receive. Most of all, I am grateful for the love within me. My thanksgiving is perpetual, so it survives every obstacle I'm stepping through. I'm forever grateful, I'm forever thankful. As I walk through life, may my stride be graceful. As I see the blessings hidden in every message. As I live and I learn, grateful for every lesson. I am peace, I am love. I am joy, I am light. Each day I give gratitude for my life. I am forever grateful. I am forever thankful. As I walk through life, may my stride be graceful. Whatever has happened, whatever will happen, I can be certain that I will be grateful. Because I am aware that each moment has something great to offer me. I am grateful now in this moment and is keeping doors of blessing open to me. Even devastation is an opportunity for transformation. My gratitude ascends with my elevation. I welcome all the ways the universe wants to bless me. I reject and release all the things that try to stress me. If I approach each situation, experience in person with appreciation, I will be held in the arms of abundance and sitting in the lap of patience. I'm forever grateful. I am forever thankful as I walk through life. 
May my stride be graceful As I see the blessings Hidden in every message As I live and I learn Grateful for every lesson I am peace, I am love I am joy, I am light Each day I give Gratitude for my life I am forever grateful I am forever thankful As I walk through life May my stride be graceful Whatever I see I trust that the universe is supporting me I choose to see this season of life With appreciation The feeling of gratefulness Expands my perspective And opens me up to new ways To live happily To experience fullness Of joy And of peace The more I pay attention to what's already working in my life The better it gets I'm grateful I'm thankful For the universe And all the blessings in my life I'm grateful for those who have helped me on my journey I am thankful For myself I'm forever grateful I'm forever thankful As I walk through life May my stride be graceful As I see the blessings Hidden in every message As I live and I learn Grateful for every lesson I am peace, I am love I am joy, I am light Each day I give Gratitude for my life I am forever grateful I am forever thankful As I walk through life May my stride be graceful All I have right now is this moment And this moment is enough I am enough for that I am grateful I'm grateful for this version of me I refuse to take it for granted I refuse to take any single day for granted I will embrace them all with a sense of gratitude I accept both my burdens and my blessings I see the beauty in them both I will learn from them both I will create from them both I see all existence I see every moment I see every day as an opportunity To be greater than I've ever been I'm forever grateful I'm forever thankful As I walk through life May my stride be graceful As I see the blessings Hidden in every message As I live and I learn Grateful for every lesson I am peace, I am love I am joy, I am light Each day I give Gratitude for my life I am forever grateful I am forever thankful As I walk through life May my stride be graceful I'm thankful for the fun, the wealth, and the joy I am happy and feel fulfilled in this moment I am excited for what this day will bring I am grateful for the tremendous opportunities for growth That the universe has placed before me Even though some days will bring turmoil, I am making a conscious decision to seek peace within my being. I have decided that I will control my emotions. My emotions will not control me. I have decided that I am going to be grateful for the light that I see and the light that I am. Every day, I have more and more to be grateful for. And every day, I will show my gratitude. I'm forever grateful. I'm forever thankful. 
As I walk through life, may my stride be graceful. As I see the blessings hidden in every message. As I live and I learn, grateful for every lesson. I am peace, I am love. I am joy, I am light. Each day I give gratitude for my life. I am forever grateful. I am forever thankful. As I walk through life, may my stride be graceful.